Elliot Coben. Thank you, Sir Christopher. <coughs> it's a pleasure to serve under your chairmanship, and can I congratulate the Honourable Member for Twickenham for securing it, uh, not only as a constituency MP, but as chair of the all-party parliamentary group <coughs> on cancer. I am particularly pleased to take part in today's debate uh, and absolutely agree with what's been said uh, so far. Uh, and similarly, along with colleagues from Twickenham, Richmond Park and Kingston, myself and the member for Sutton and Cheam have also written to the Secretary of State requesting a call-in of this decision. Um, I don't want to repeat much of what has already been said, as there are many colleagues who do want to get in, but I do want to emphasise just a few points, if I may, particularly the fact that paediatric cancer is incredibly rare and a highly specialised service that the NHS provides. Um, now, I understand the NHS is concerned about co-locating the deliverables of the care on one site, but I think as has already been pointed out, and as St George's keep on um, saying, they are, st they, are, they are standing ready to be able to do that. They are investing a lot on the St George's campus, not just them, but the University of London is also investing on the St George's campus. They stand ready to provide what parents are asking for and have 25 years of specialist experience alongside the Royal Marsden to do so. So I think it would be a mistake to take the decision to move it to the Evelina. And like the member for Twickenham, I am confident that the Evelina is a fantastic hospital with amazing staff that does amazing work. But this is about clinical deliverables, and I will be happily, happily give way to my honourable friend. Well, I'm great, uh, grateful for allowing me that intervention, and he's right, the Evelina is a great hospital. But the other point about St George's, surely not only the specialism in paediatric cancer, is the wider specialism in neonatal services and paediatric services, and the concern that those would be lost mm. if, if the co-location mm. was based at the Evelina. My honourable friend is absolutely right, of course, and that is a key concern, and I think that is precisely what we are um, here debating and trying to avoid. I think it is also worth stating that St George's doesn't just have 25 years of experience. The, the data really does speak for itself. They have been rated outstanding um, by the CQC for delivering cancer services for children. Uh, and their proposal is to consolidate the primary treatment centre onto the St George's site in a new state-of-the-art children's cancer wing, delivering the outstanding facilities to match the outstanding care they already provide. And the services that matter most for children with cancer are already available at St George's. Some 80% of children with cancer, St George's campus can already provide, or is poised to provide, key treatments that the Evelina will have to take time to develop. Now, St George's can deliver what parents say they want, and above all, that is the expertise and the experience that they currently have. It is reliant on this experience with incredibly rare expertise. In fact, something like only 20 surgeons um, in paediatric oncology are registered in the UK that have this uncommon skill and practice, and three of them are at St George's already. Now, parents have consistently said that they would prefer the Children's Cancer Centre to also be outside the centre of the city with better parking provision, and that is something that St George's, again, is already able to provide, and I think we don't need to wax lyrical about how awful central London traffic is. We, all, we say that every day getting in um, to, to work anyway. So consolidating the children's cancer services at uh, St George's will be easier and less costly for the NHS to deliver. A large part of the service is already there and the existing non-clinical space can, at relative speed, be transformed into a new state-of-the-art cancer centre. But beyond the financial impact of the individual institution that we are talking about, there will be wider costs to the NHS as a whole if, the, if it is relocated. St George's has estimated these costs to be at circa 2.5 million in the first year alone if the service is moved. And it will have an impact, or could have an impact, on other children's services and indeed wider services that are at St George's at the moment. Children's cancer is distressing, but it is also, from a clinical perspective, not neat or not standalone and requires incredible skill. And the expert staff supporting these children could end up leaving St George's Hospital and weaken the multidisciplinary teams that they have there already. And now, as I say, with the increasing investment on the campus, with the City University of London and St George's University of London having agreed to merge and develop ambitious plans on the campus, the opportunities are stronger still, not to mention the expansion of the Institute for Cancer Research in the London Borough of Sutton, which, my, um, which we are so excited to see, and the development of a new acute facility. We have the ability to turn South West London into a hub, a world-leading hub, for cancer services, <coughs> not beating the, beating the United States in many yeah. se in sense. 
this is incredible news. We need to be grasping this opportunity. So taking this away would be a huge mistake. Absolutely. So given all of this, I fail to see a compelling reason why the Evelina could provide better care for children in my constituency, in Carshalton and Wallington, and further afield. So as such, I would like to request that the Secretary of State does consider using her call-in powers to, to <coughs> review this decision on a reconfiguration, if that is the decision that is taken tomorrow. Yeah.